If you're a seasoned cat owner, you've probably already discovered that cats are naturally adorable creatures and their adorable switch, it's located at the back of their necks. It's not just for kittens. Even the fiercest tiger will calm down if you grab the scruff of its neck firmly. And it's not just about using your hand. You can get the same effect with a clip. Take this big white cat, for example. It was restless on the operating table, so the vet pulled out a binder clip. Then, something magical happened. Just a reminder, non-professionals, please don't try this at home. If done incorrectly, you might find yourself on the receiving end of some serious cat claw kung fu. Even a pet cat is a hunter. The moment the vet removed the binder clip, the big white cat sprang back to life and immediately bolted. In another video, a kitten was climbing up a screen window and its owner had to pull it down. The kitten was still acting a bit naughty, so the owner grabbed a clothespin, clipped it onto the back of the kitten's neck, and voila, the kitten flopped to the ground. With the clip secured a bit tighter, the kitten didn't move at all. But the second the clip was removed, the little cat jumped up fully reanimated. So are these videos real or fake? Why does this phenomenon occur with cats? What's the science behind this fascinating behavior? In the United States, there's a researcher named Dr. Tony Buffington, a veterinary professor who really delved into this question. He conducted a quirky experiment with 31 cats. Five males and eight females formed the first group all under five years old, while the second group included 11 males and seven females, all under 10 years old. He wanted to observe how they reacted when their scruffs were grabbed. If this grab served as a playing dead switch, then age and gender shouldn't significantly affect their reactions. However, if their responses varied by age and gender, it would indicate that this wasn't just a reflex. Tony set the grip of the clip to a steady 140 mm of mercury. In the first group, 12 out of 13 cats showed a reaction, while in the second group, all the cats responded. This suggested that the reaction was indeed unrelated to age or gender. But there was still something off. After being grabbed, the cats didn't exhibit typical signs of playing dead. Instead, some cats even purred contentedly. A month later, Tony repeated the experiment with the same 31 cats and noticed that, over time, the older cats' reactions to the clip became weaker. By the third month, only about two-thirds of the cats still reacted noticeably to the clip, and these were generally the younger ones. The remaining third no longer responded at all. In the end, Tony concluded that this reaction in cats isn't a playing dead switch, but rather a, a stress response rooted in evolution. Tony believes this could be related to how mother cats carry their kittens. Over millions of years of evolution, those kittens who squirmed wildly when grabbed by their mother's mouth likely didn't survive, while only those with the instinct to calm down in response to being grabbed lived on. Imagine a kitten being attacked by a predator or facing a natural disaster. When a mother cat grabs her kitten by the neck to escape quickly, the ones that thrash and scream wouldn't make it. So embedded in the genes of all cats is this ancient memory. Grab the scruff and you better behave. It doesn't matter if you're a cute kitten, a lion, or a fierce tiger. Even the famous story of Wu Song fighting the tiger, turns out it was just a sneak attack, totally lacking in honor. The experimental data showed that during the first time a cat was grabbed by the neck, regardless of age or gender, they would all react. However, with repeated grabbing, older cats gradually showed diminished responses, aligning with the idea that younger kittens have a stronger genetic memory and need to react more intensely. You might be thinking that these foreign scientists have too much time on their hands researching things like this. Does knowing how to handle cats really pay the bills? Speaking of which, Professor Tony actually designed a product based on his theory called Kitopedia, which sold quite well. Of course, you can use any binder clip or clothespin at home to try this out. Just make sure to control the pressure carefully. If it's too strong, be prepared for an onslaught of cat claws. Additionally, Tony found supporting evidence for his theory in animals like foxes, raccoons, and mice. He discovered that any mammal that doesn't instinctively hold its young typically exhibits this reaction. Now the question arises, since humans are also mammals, is there a similar switch within us? The animal that reveals the human switch is surprisingly the gibbon. Human infants possess a strong grasp reflex. When you touch their palm, they instinctively cling tightly. They can even perform impressive moves, like pulling themselves up on a bar. There's also a phenomenon known as the Moro reflex that highlights this instinct. When an infant is startled, like by a sudden shout or being released from a hold, they instinctively reach out their arms or pull them in tightly. This response is a survival mechanism. 
allowing them to grab onto a branch or cling to their mother. Interestingly, during the Moro reflex, babies typically don't cry. If they were crying beforehand, they will often stop immediately. This instinct helps them avoid danger. They only start crying again once they feel secure in someone's arms. This reflex usually fades completely by around six months of age. Many mothers can relate to the experience of their baby crying when held while sitting, but calming down when they stand and gently sway. This response is quite similar to how kittens react when grabbed by the scruff of their neck. To explore this concept further, Japanese scientists even conducted an experiment. The researchers attached some sensors to the infants. When the babies started to cry, their mothers were asked to hold them. During the experiment, the mothers alternated between sitting still and standing up to gently walk around with the baby. They observed how the infant's physiological indicators changed in these two states. The results showed that when a crying baby was held and walked around, their movements decreased, the crying stopped immediately, and their heart rate significantly dropped. However, once the mother sat down with the baby, the crying resumed, and the heart rate returned to previous levels. Japanese scientists explained that the act of standing up and walking with the baby triggers an instinctual response. The baby perceives it as being in danger, with the mother carrying them to safety, so they instinctively behave. Once they stop moving, the baby feels they have escaped the threat and can finally cry freely. The scientists also noted that this instinctual reflex exists in adults and even the elderly. For example, if you are arguing with your boyfriend, if you hold his head gently and shake it a bit, he will immediately calm down. You might think it's an expression of love, but it's actually a genetic response. Conversely, if a man forcefully kisses a woman, that's a different biological topic we can discuss another time, but the effects are similar. Well, that's all for today's story. Thank you, everyone.